Hey guys, if you want to grab some cool Halloween merchandise while supporting our channel, click on the link in the description box to get this awesome design. It'll only be in the store for a limited time, so be sure to get yours before it's too late. I also made a pillow with my face on it. It's as close as I'll ever get to making a body pillow. For now. <laughs> When watching horror-themed anime, you're prepared for a scare beyond compare. <laughs> that was a three-way rhyme. <clears throat> Needless to say, you're expecting something horrifyingly terrible and scary to the point where those anime will haunt your dreams for the rest of your life. Or at least until you watch something else to cheer you up. But what if those anime titles that are supposed to make you feel happy and safe provided a scene that you were not expecting? A scene so terrifying and gruesome that made you feel unsafe and scared, only to in most cases return the story back to normal, leaving you restless, sitting in your seat in front of the screen, thinking to yourself, what the hell did I just watch? Why don't we highlight those scenes that came out of nowhere to give you a scare, shall we? But let me say this before we get started. I have talked about Full Metal Alchemist and Berserk so many times with those two particularly horrifying scenes that it seems a bit too predictable to add them to the list. We all know what happens with Nina and Alexander and the deal that goes down with the god's hand. So let's highlight other scenes that we were not prepared for. Let's get started with Anime America's Top 10 Scary Scenes from Non-Horror Anime. I've mentioned before just how dark Sailor Moon S really was. I mean, the series starts with Rei's vision of an unstoppable apocalypse as she watches her friends die, only to continue the series as packed with painful heart extractions from the enemy's targets, and let's not forget the scenes with Sailor Neptune enduring horrific torture while Uranus is taking her own life to reveal the talisman. Did I mention this was a dark series? But the one scene that tops it and had to be heavily censored in America was this dark scene. Okay, what is Chibi Usa dreaming about? It's around this time Hotaru has gone missing, leaving Chibi Usa worried for her, only for her to get a vision of Hotaru tied to a crucifix with ghoulish arms reaching out to her. And yeah, the main reason why they had to censor this scene and the other scene from Sailor Moon R was mainly because of the whole crucifix thing, but it's so unnerving to see Hotaru in such a terrifying scenario. Fruits Basket had its lighter moments and its oh my god my poor little babies moments. It's a drama to say the least, but a hopeful one with delightful characters in a supernatural scenario. But when it comes to Kyo's past and how the curse affects him, none of us were expecting to see this. <laughs> Guys, how did a show with so many charming and dramatic scenes lead to a giant cat demon? Hello? Turns out this... kitty is the cat Zodiac's true form, which had to be sealed using these beads that are on Kyo's wrist. It's an interesting scene that pushes Toru to truly decide whether she wants to stay by Kyo's side after seeing him at his worst, but man did this transformation scare us. Spirited Away is full of colorful characters with their own unique quirks and design. There's just no other movie that can compare to this breathtaking story and animation. While some scenes featured a few curious looking creatures, it's this ominously quiet guy that took us all by surprise. <laughs> And of course, by surprise, I mean scare the living crap out of us. No Face's grotesque transformation by devouring people around him was just freaky to watch. He does all of this to get close to Chihiro and demonstrate how much her friendship means to him, but starts to go insane when she doesn't accept the gold he was trying to give her. This escalates to a scary chase scene when Chihiro makes him eat something that causes him to throw up all the victims he devoured. 
Lovely. Then once he's finally calmed down, she allows him to join her on her journey to find Zaniba, so the rest of the movie is pretty chill like it was before. This was an insane moment in the movie as we didn't know what No Face was going to do to Chihiro and the others. No one would have suspected this quiet looking spirit to make such a terrifying scene. That the little girl who cosplayed him made the other children in her classroom cry. <laughs> Hashtag parenting goals, just saying. My Hero Academia doesn't seem to be the type of show that would scare us with its delightful heroes and awesome villains, but boy were we wrong. I decided to mention two of the scenes that took us all off guard, starting with the very first one, Stain's creepy speech. The hero killer Stain wants to rid the world of fake heroes as he was appalled to learn that some people with quirks go into the hero industry just for the paychecks. Of course. When the students along with Endeavor are about to catch him, he stands up in a fit of rage while screaming, There is only one man I'll let kill me. He is a true hero. All might is worthy. To which the scene carries on with such an intense and scary atmosphere. You can't really tell what this guy will do next, and it doesn't help when his character design and personality are already offsetting. Just look at this guy. He's creepy. But then we get to a more subdued scene that some would argue is even more terrifying. And that's the talk between Deku and Tomura. Due to his past and how he was raised, Tomura is an unstable villain who easily gets upset when things don't go his way or if he's not the center of attention. Soon after Stain's defeat, however, Tomura takes Deku aside by force to ask him some questions. Deku assures him that the heroes will come in if he dies, but Tomura tells them that he could easily kill 40 or more innocent people before the professionals arrive. So Deku reluctantly sits with Tomura to have an unsettling conversation while he's being held by the neck. Keep in mind Tomura's quirk is decay, which allows him to rot any object he touches as long as all five fingers are touching the object. So with four fingers holding Deku down, they talk about the differences between Tomura and Stain. Deku gives his answer, which leads Tomura to the ultimate conclusion. It's him. The problem is all might. He finally has a goal in mind, which is to destroy the symbol of hope that everyone in the city, even Stain, relies on, All Might. Both scenes are just terrifying to watch in different ways, but since one scene built up to the next one, I decided to keep these two scary scenes together on this list. Akira is known as one of the most influential movies of all time with its cyberpunk style and its foreboding story. A story of a city still recovering from a previous apocalypse while facing political corruption and violence as we witness a young man undergoing a strange transformation one fateful night. Because of his encounter, he started to develop psychic abilities that start to mess with his mind. When pushed to the limit, Tetsuo starts to terrorize the city while locating the whereabouts of an all-powerful esper named Akira. This sequence gets even more intense the closer Tetsuo gets to his target, but once he obtains his goal, the unthinkable happens. You know, of all the scenes you'd never thought you'd ever experience in your lifetime, this is one of them. Just look at this. Look at all this. Ew. Tetsuo is losing control of his powers while transforming into a mutated blob, devouring everything around him. He even kills the girl he loves by mistake. That is just brutal. At least the movie ends with a somewhat hopeful narrative, but this scene alone will forevermore scar our minds. Most would say Naruto is an intense action series full of comedic moments and devastating moments that somehow turn into memes. <laughs> I like this one. Anyways, the fight scenes are usually fun and intense to watch with its tight choreography and creative ninjutsu skills. But if there was one fight that honestly scared the audience and had us look at a certain character differently, it'd be Gara's brutal use of Sam Burial. <laughs> Sam Burial! Hey, Igara. I, 
I think you need to eat a Snickers. You get a little hostile while making the skies rain bloody sand and scaring all of your friends when you're hungry. And having daddy issues. Give me. Eat your Snickers, Kara. You'll feel better in the morning. While there are a lot of extreme scenes in Naruto, I don't think any of us were expecting to see this kid crush a man to death while making it rain bloody sand. Yikes. Human torture! Nobody likes it. But somehow we're forced to watch it, like in ReZero. This cannot hurt us physically, but it will damage us mentally. Yay. Subaru is suddenly captured by the witch cult and wakes up in chains while meeting the maniacal leader of the cult, Petal Geese. Ram tries to sneak in and rescue Subaru only for a Petal Geese to stop her and... Oh, twist her body like a lifeless Barbie doll. Only this doll has bones, muscles, fiber tissues, and oh god, this is horrifying. Just this imagery of Rem being twisted and tortured is just nightmare-inducing. This series is full of horrifying ways to die, but nothing prepared us for this really disturbing moment. This scene from Fate Zero is not only terrifying and cruel, but to me, it's edited like a legitimate jump scare. A serial killer named Ryonosuke Uryu murders an entire family, except a young boy, to summon a demon. However, he ends up summoning the servant caster, Gils de Reyes? Giles de... I'm gonna call you Gils, because I can't pronounce anything. You all should know this by now. Uryu offers the little boy to him as a sacrifice, only to let him go. The boy is hesitant at first, but he makes it out of the hallway, hopeful to see his freedom. He survived. Unlike his poor family, but he actually... <laughs> She scared the crap out of me! Just, like one second he's free and the next he's captured by tentacles while you hear the blood curling screams as he's being eaten alive! I just sat there trying to grasp what just happened after getting scared from that one quick shot! It only makes the scene worse when you hear this guy talk about how the best kind of kills are from the ones who start to regain a small sliver of hope. Like he'd only kill the boy if hope had been restored in his heart, only to see it get snuffed away. That's just scary and cruel. Jeez. <laughs> Cowboy Bebop. Oh, you know it's coming. The whole series has a lot of memorable moments, from the fight scenes to the dramatic shots that take our breath away, with how the shots presents the story as we watch these characters live their lives day by day. We never know what to expect with each episode. This is an understatement when you get to episode 20, Piero Le Fou. After witnessing a random assassination, Spike finds himself being chased down by a terrifying man giving off the most unsettling smile. Oh, look at that face. Just this scene along with Matt Piero killing his target to Spike's reaction when he sees him is just downright scary. Like, you could just see that, oh, sh look on Spike's face when he sees this guy. With that creepy smile, clown-like attire, and a corpse just lying next to him, Spike knows he's in deep trouble. This scene takes us down this unsettling trail of powerlessness and fear when Spike can't seem to find a way to stop this psychopath from killing him. And Matt Piro even gets killed off in the creepiest way possible, getting crushed by a happy looking parade while he was crying. I know this is a top 10 list of scary scenes, that's why I chose the scene where Spike meets the maniac, but this whole episode is one scary trip we didn't expect to see in this kind of show.
Remember when I said those scenes from Sailor Moon were censored? At least in their cases, the scenes were either edited or zoomed in so you wouldn't have to see the crucifixes. But there's one anime from Toonami's lineup that had a scene so terrifying and scarring, the censors had no choice but to remove some parts of it. And this is the one and only time I will say this to the censors. I don't blame you. Honestly, thank you for at least trying to protect us from this scene. Of all the shows in the Toonami lineup, I wasn't really expecting anything terrifying to come out of shows like Sailor Moon, and in this case, Dragon Ball Z. As we transition from the Android Saga to the Imperfect Cell Saga, Piccolo comes face to face with their newest threat in his imperfect form, Cell. He was just in the middle of terrorizing the town he just walked into and holding a rich man hostage. The man was crying out to Piccolo and begging him to be saved in exchange for wealth. Cell lets him go, and the man starts to crawl away, until... Seriously, Toei, did you have to animate this nightmare fuel that delicately? Why? Dragon Ball Z was always a guarantee to watch awesome fight scenes and lighthearted fun. Not this. Anything but this. This is just disgusting. This is horrifying. This is just downright scary. With how slow and painful this death was and how there was a lot of detail put into a man being drained to death. The scene with Cell absorbing the richest man in Ginger Town is without a doubt the scariest scene from a non-horror anime. I know in one of my old videos I jokingly said that's just how Cell drinks his milkshakes, but god that scene still haunts me. Like, really? Do we really have to watch a man slowly shrivel up like that? So much detail into something that's just so terrifying. It's just... It's just insane, guys. But let me know what you think of that scene. Was there any other scene that I left out? Leave your answers in the comments down below. Special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters for keeping this channel alive. And just seriously, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. And special thanks to my friends, Laura Pavlovic and Shagar, for helping me make this list. I can only hope this doesn't give you nightmares, but, uh, hey. Happy Halloween, am I right? <laughs> Please don't send me your therapy bills. Oh, and uh, don't forget to check out our new designs on Teespring, especially the one that's only in the store for a limited time. For any updates on our next video, be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Links are provided in the description box down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video and for supporting our channel. More awesome videos will be on the way, so stay tuned to Anime America.